Hey folks. The last time we saw a Zelda remake was in 2019, three years ago. The Zelda team have previously said that they want something Zelda out every year, and have been pretty successful in doing so since saying that, but it's been a while since our last remake. We don't know what the next one will be, or when it'll come out, but today I want to discuss which Zelda remake I think should be next, and also get your thoughts afterwards. So let's do this. Be sure to go and grab yourself a snack or drink and send them in to get featured right here, and also be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you haven't already, it really helps the channel out. And let's get into this one. Firstly, let's briefly go over all the games in the remake potential pool. In my opinion, we are looking at the next remake being one of the following. The Minish Cap, Oracle of Seasons and Ages, A Link to the Past, Phantom Hourglass, Spirit Tracks, and a Dark Horse in here, Triforce Heroes. You could also include the likes of the first two Zelda games, but I don't think they can really be remade to be honest. What we got on the Switch Online bonus content was pretty good and revamped in a way. They're just not on the radar for a full on remake in my eyes. They're classic and that's what makes them good. Oh, and no ports, just remakes. In no particular order, let's look at a pro or con or two of remaking the just mentioned games. Starting with the Oracles. These are two classics that I've never played, however I am knowledgeable on them and the love fans have for them. They are two connecting games, one where the seasons are manipulated and one where time is manipulated, both through the Rod of Seasons and Harp of Ages. They are what you'd expect from a 2D Zelda game from this time. Puzzle focused, a solid adventure and bite sized Zelda. Hard to do wrong. A very strong reason for these games being the next remake is that they are actually connected, as I mentioned. After beating both games, you can could link both of them to unlock further, more interesting stories. If the games were to be remade, it would be a no-brainer to sell them together. But this is Nintendo, a business at the same time as an entertainment provider. They'd end up being sold separately, like Pokemon games, but they'd definitely have to remake both and release them together. And if your Switch was to have saved data from both games, completed, you'd be able to access the linked game story. I feel like this is something the newer fans should get to experience, as it is kind of locked on older hardware that isn't as available nowadays. It's a really cool concept, but it's not modernised. There aren't many points against these games that I can think of, other than them not being the most fan favourite of the series, but that's the only real issue in my eyes, if you can even call that an issue. They're solid in my opinion. Another combo that could work, in terms of releasing separately but at the same time, is Phantom Hourglass and Spirit Tracks. Whilst not being as connected as the previous games, they are a sequel and prequel to each other, both being in the same 2D cartoon Link style as well. Phantom Hourglass is Link's second adventure at sea. Spirit Tracks takes place around 100 years later and is Link's first and only adventure on the rails. But the second game includes tons of references and even relatives from Phantom Hourglass. It really feels like a sequel. The story goes that after the adventure at sea in Phantom Hourglass, a new Hyrule was founded and that is where Spirit Tracks takes place. Points for this being the next remake are bringing two very unique adventures to today's audience. In my opinion, these are definitely two of the most out there adventures in the series. You either love them or hate them, but newer fans definitely need to try them and learn about the charm of these awesome little adventures. For 2D Nintendo DS games, they were pretty packed with content too. Points against these being next, they are very much love or hate, with a lot of fans not being as into them at the time, making them more niche. Whilst I'd argue that they are fantastic, not everyone agrees. But the newer audience, and maybe those willing to give them another go, could be a good enough reason to remake them next. They've got the charm, they just need another chance. Now for the Dark Horse, Triforce Heroes, the Zelda adventure to play with friends, or alone, but it is a general consensus among fans that playing this game solo is a far less fun experience. But. That's honestly one of the biggest issues with it. It was hard to find other players. The game was made to be played with other people. It was released on the 3DS and unfortunately region locked. However, the Nintendo Switch features fully worldwide online multiplayer, meaning if this was remade for the Switch, you could link up and play with friends and even random people from all over the world. My three word summary of this game would be before it's time. I feel this game was a bit too advanced for when it came out. The idea was there, and amazing, but the technology limited the presentation. Today however, this would be sensational. Just imagine hopping on to play Zelda with your friends, puzzles together, boss fights together, story and lore development together. It would be amazing. I don't really know if there is a downside to this one. I guess you could say that it might not have as big a market as other remakes, but that's just my opinion. 
Triforce Heroes was limited back in the day. The Nintendo Switch, however, could offer the game the platform it needs to truly let it shine. As for A Link to the Past, this one sells itself, really. The third entry to the series, this game is very well viewed by fans. It is a very, very solid 2D adventure, and a big reason for that is because it set down a lot of the lore foundations for the rest of the series. The first two games didn't present much lore, they were more just fun adventures. A Link to the Past really kicked off the lore, and showed it. So naturally, the game is packed with content. It also features the Dark World, an alternative version of Hyrule taken over by Ganon, which is incredibly cool. The only reason to maybe not remake this game just yet is because A Link Between Worlds exists. Whilst not a remake, it is a spiritual successor to the game. For me, that doesn't rule out a remake, but it does put it further down the list of priorities. That and the original is available on the Switch already, but someday, this game has to be remade. It's just too good not to. And last, but certainly not least, my favourite 2D Zelda game, the Minish Cap. One of the few games that Nintendo themselves didn't actually make, but rather Capcom, who also made the Oracles by the way. This is one heck of an adventure, and the biggest reason for that in my opinion is the game's super unique and creative mechanic, shrinking down to the size of the Minish. In this jam-packed 2D adventure, you'll be traversing Hyrule, both as Link as we know him, but also shrunk down to the size of a fingernail, with the help of our companion and hat, Ezlo. The creativity with this mechanic is insane, and honestly perfect for 2D handheld Zelda. Everyday objects like a bookcase turn into a tall tower to climb, gardens become jungles, and all of a sudden we get to fit through tiny cracks within the walls and explore Hyrule as we've never seen it before. The general story is interesting as well, we're not fighting Ganon, Ganondorf or anything like that, rather a new foe. Vati, an evil mage. It's a solid 2D game and in my opinion the best one. Downsides to this game I don't know any personally. I think it's got a perfect balance of everything. I'm not saying it's flawless, this is of course me having bias towards it, but this is my video at the end of the day. With all of that said about each game, which Zelda remake do I think should be on the way next? Which is the most deserving? Answering the big old question in the title. For me, it's, if you couldn't already tell, the Minish Cap. Without a shadow of a doubt, and I'm not afraid to admit that there is some bias there. It is my favourite 2D Zelda game, but for some very good reasons. Reasons that I think warrant it being the next remake to come to the Nintendo Switch. All of the games discussed would make for great remakes, and I do believe that they should come as well, but for me, the Minish Cap is what I'd want to see for the reasons I mentioned. Now, you could ask why did I not just make a video about why the Minish Cap should be remade, and the truth is, I thought about it, but ultimately, I wanted to make this a more interactive video and start a discussion with all of you, so I gave my brief thoughts on all of the games that I think are in the running. Now, it's your turn. That's what I think regarding the next Zelda remake, but now I want to hear your thoughts on pros and cons for each game and which one you think should be the next remake. Let me know your thoughts down below and look out for my replies. I'm very interested and excited to hear. As always, be sure to drop a wee like down below if you enjoyed, and also consider subscribing for more fabulous Zelda content. Both would make my day. Follow my socials linked below to keep up to date, and as always, a huge, massive, amazing shout out goes to all of my channel supporters. Your support really helps me to make these videos week in, week out, all month long, 365 days a year. If you'd like to join them and get yourself a share upon joining, then consider supporting via the links below. Thanks for watching, I hope you all have an amazing day or night, and until the next time, I've been Hyrule Gamer.